Hey everyone, in this video let's create the robotic camera angle effect in Blender as seen in the humble music video by Kendrick Lamar, also including some tips and tricks as well, so let's get started. So for the first step in Blender, press Shift A to add the camera and before getting started, we're gonna set up the workflow a little bit so just go to the top right corner and drag it to the left to create two separate windows. We're gonna use the left side as the camera view so just press the zero key on your numpad to enter the camera view and press Shift Z to enter the render view as well. We can hide all the overlays by using this button at the top as well and this completes the setup for the left side. For the right side, as we can see, if I select the camera and move it by pressing the G key or rotate it by pressing the R key, it's automatically updating on the left view as well and it'll help us a lot during the animation phase. So this completes our initial setup and now we can get started with the animation on the camera. As we can see in the reference, the robotic camera is focused on one single subject and moving around it in some cool different angles. So to set it up in Blender, we can press Shift A and add an empty plane axis. After that, I'm pressing G key to move it to be around the face area, which is our main focus for now. And we're gonna use the camera to be tracked to the empty. So to create that, go to Constraints tab and add Track to on our camera. After that, we can select the Picker tool and select the empty to be the target. And as we can see, a blue line is formed around the camera, which shows it's tracked to the empty now. When we try to move the camera by pressing the G key, it's gonna stay focused in the same area, similar to our robotic camera. We can move it around and see if it's working correctly. Similarly, if we select the empty and move it, that will be the area that the camera focuses on. Now I'm gonna adjust the camera and the empty to create a first cool angle from which our animation can start and once you're happy with it, we can go to the top right corner again and drag it down to split it into two views. The bottom view I'm gonna switch it to the dope sheet where we'll create our animation. And if you see this grey bar opening up, we can press N to hide it. Now select both the camera and the empty and press I to create our first keyframe which will be the starting point for our animation. After that, we can move 40 or 50 frames ahead to create the second angle and I'm gonna adjust the camera and the empty again to create another interesting angle that I like and once you're happy with it, again, select both the camera and the empty and press the I key to create the second keyframe. Now the camera will move from first keyframe to the second keyframe and now we can repeat this process to create the other different angles as well and this is what I have so far. It's moving from the first position to a different one and then again to other different angles to create a cool animation. For the last one, I'm gonna select the first keyframe and press Shift D and move it to the back so it's the last keyframe as well. Doing that will make the animation a perfect loop as we can see in the video. So this creates our animation setup. Right now we're missing the cool and quick movement between the different angles as we can see in the reference. To create that, let's switch the top right view to the graph editor and as we can see, the keyframes that we created are also visible in the graph editor. We can press normalize to make the keyframes look more visible and if the panel on the right pops up again, we can press N to hide it. We're trying to create the ease in and ease out animation which will have this quick movement between the keyframes. So just select the keyframe in the dope sheet. And in the graph editor, we're gonna press the S key to scale and X for the X axis and scale it a little bit. Similarly, we're gonna repeat the process on all the other keyframes as well, creating that ease in and ease out keyframes so our animation looks better. Playing the animation, we can see it's going a little bit more quicker around the different angles and the keyframes. To make the animation look a bit more faster, we can bring the keyframes more closer to each other and it will look more snappier and quicker. The distance between the keyframe can be altered at any time to create a fast or a slower motion between them. As we can see in the video is going from one keyframe to another in a quick and cool motion similar to that of a robotic camera. Also making sure the motion blur is turned on to have that cool blur between the different frames. Taking a look at the reference again, the only thing that we're missing right now are these pauses that the robotic camera makes between the different angles. So to create that, select a keyframe and then duplicate it and move it a little bit ahead. 
We're gonna select the one before it and press T to change it to linear. This means that the camera will not move and will stay in the same position. As we can see, a green line is formed between the two keyframes. So when we play the animation, it'll move and stay at the same position for a few frames. To increase this duration, we can make the keyframes more farther apart and the camera will stay in the same position for a little longer. We can repeat the same process on the other keyframes as well, adding pauses on all the different angles. So it moves and pauses, moves and pauses on the angle, and again creating a perfect loop on the last frame. Finally, some extra effects that we can try. After selecting the keyframe, press T and we can see these three dynamic effects. Just play around with these to create some different dynamic effects as we can see in the video. Switching to the other effects will give some cool new animations, so just try that out. So this completes a tutorial on how to create some cool robotic camera effect in Blender. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.